Today on Forbes, meet the MIT professor with eight climate startups and $2.5 billion in funding. Massachusetts Institute of Technology professor Yet Ming Chang likes to fish. And it was through fishing, back in the early 1990s, that he started to notice that the New England waters were warming. During a call from his office with a Japanese-style fish print of a striped bass he caught behind him, he said, quote, We used to catch lobster in Cape Cod. Now we catch mahi-mahi. It's really nuts. That glimpse of the real-world impact of climate change, with tropical and subtropical fish appearing in waters where they don't belong, was pivotal for Chang, who has used his research lab to co-found 10 startups. Eight of them are focused on energy and sustainability, including Form Energy, which has raised nearly $1 billion for its iron-air battery products, and Sublime Systems, which in April received $87 million from the Department of Energy to build a commercial plant to make low-carbon cement. As the climate crisis has become increasingly urgent, Chang's research and his ability to spin out real-world applications from it offers hope and landed him a spot on Forbes' inaugural sustainability leaders list, released just last week. Chang holds some 110 patents and has written more than 300 scientific articles in fields like battery technology and electrochemical production of industrial materials. Perhaps more important, he has used that research to launch companies to replace current carbon-based technologies with commercially scalable green and low-carbon alternatives. To date, his startups have raised more than $2.5 billion to build batteries, decarbonize cement, and find more environmentally friendly ways to mine the critical minerals that are key to electrification. He is not CEO of any of these startups, but he often maintains a role, for example, as chief science officer at both Form Energy and Sublime Systems. He said, quote, People worry about, can you do something by 2050, and what if you can't? Let's not spend time worrying about it. There's plenty to do. I'm an optimist. It's not as if we arrive in 2050 and say, we didn't do it all in time, let's give up. Chang, who is 66 years old, immigrated from Taiwan with his family when he was six, after his dad received an engineering degree at Oklahoma State University. He grew up in New Jersey and Connecticut, where for a time, his parents ran a store that sold Asian foods, including homemade egg rolls. He went to MIT as a college freshman and never left, receiving a doctorate in ceramics in 1985 and joining the faculty. By 1990, at age 32, he had tenure. While Chang always worked on research related to energy, he was, he notes, a high schooler during the 1970s energy crisis, it wasn't until the mid-2000s that he made climate and sustainability his focus. Today, that's all he does. He said, quote, when students come in and say they'd like to research with me, I tell them all I do is climate. Chang's research group typically numbers 25, including grad students and postdocs. He launched his first startup, American Superconductor, which makes high temperature superconducting wire for energy and power applications in 1987. Known as a superstar in the field of battery research, he's since co-founded four battery companies, including Form Energy launched in 2017. And he's more recently started companies in areas that include cement and engines for electric aircraft. All told, he said, he's worked in five different technology areas with the potential for decarbonization of multiple gigatons of greenhouse gases per year. Carmichael Roberts, co-founder of Boston-based venture firm Material Impact, which invests in material science innovation, said, quote, Yet is one of MIT's most prolific academic inventors and has been a force in energy materials for several decades. He is one of the best in the world at his craft. Dana Grayson, co-founder of Construct Capital, who has known Chang for years, said, quote, Yet Ming has created one of the more prolific portfolios of our time. He has a really big appetite for how impactful things can be. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman's piece, on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.